Good afternoon, everyone. It's Saturday before Mother's Day. I'm going to have this uploaded today. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Anyway, welcome back to Woja Mojo. Uh, this is the leg of lamb, semi-boneless, but if you have a boneless or a full bone in, it's going to be basically the same thing. So, uh, you know, don't worry about that. If you have a totally boneless, I'll, I'll do one of those where I wrap it with some items inside as well. Uh, so what you're going to need is a uh, leg of lamb, all right? Um, this one uh, is a semi-boneless leg of lamb. Uh, oh, it's Australian lamb. It must come from the lamb down under. Anyway, uh, you're going to need some rosemary, all right? You're going to need uh, several cloves of garlic. Do not smash the garlic cloves to husk them. You're going to have to cut the ends off and peel them. You do not want these smashed because they need to be rigid. You're going to need one lime because I have some side things going on, uh, a side thing we're going to do. Uh, for the side thing, you're going to need a lime. You're going to need... Um, a jalapeno, you could use a serrano or other type of uh, spicy pepper. Um, you're gonna need some fresh uh, uh, mint. Uh, you're gonna need some scallion and yeah, some cilantro. So uh, <clears throat> that will be on the side. Um, also, you're gonna need a little bit of salt, all right, um, for that side item, as well as some uh, cold cold pressed extra virgin olive oil and some red wine vinegar all right so uh getting with that i'm gonna move some items aside you're also gonna need a tray to bake these in all right i'm just gonna put all this stuff right up here for the time being i'll throw all my veggies right there you're also gonna need your clean hands all right always kids if you're cooking along you help a mommy right uh, make sure your hands are, are nice and clean, alrighty? So that's what you want. You want clean hands because people are going to be eating from that. So, first of all, this is going to be a very easy prep, alright? Uh, but it, the, the, um, the outcome is, is excellent. I've had this lamb out, um, thawing, and, uh, you know, getting up to room temperature, alrighty? So... Uh, as as with uh, other meats, I'm just going to kind of give it a little pat down. Just a little pat down, you know. Pat it down. There you go. There you go. Anywho, with that done. Give the digits a wash, right? Um, if you have a ring on too, uh, either wear gloves or take the ring off. Um, just a just a better move, you know. Uh, <clears throat> for for keeping things sanitary, you always want that nice clean area. Uh, so make sure that you have um, a regular steak knife. You know, this is nothing fancy. I just used that to cut the bag open there. I'm gonna, gonna give that a little rinse, but nothing fancy. Uh, just a regular steak knife. You don't want some big old um, a butcher knife for what we're about to do, okay? So, <clears throat> getting started, this is the trick, right? You're gonna take these garlic cloves and you're gonna slice them into, uh, into s shards, right? Into um, just long uh, pieces, right? About yay, can be a little bit smaller, but if you go too thin, uh, it works against you. You need some rigidity. All right So I'm just gonna take these garlic cloves and and slice them the long way. All right, so we have a bunch of nice little Slices like that you don't need a ton of these I'm we're gonna use some of that garlic for something else um, but if you have like probably uh, maybe four garlic cloves that would be sufficient, alrighty. You're gonna love the way this comes out too, by the way. So if you're cooking in an oven, you can set your oven at, uh, this is the way I do it, set your oven at 200 degrees. Yep, 200 degrees, because you're gonna slow cook this in order to, for it to come out right, okay? But we're gonna cook this one on charcoal, alrighty? Um, the prep is the same though, right? 
make all your little all your little shards, right? Now here's the big super cool trick. You take this regular steak knife, you stick it in, you pry it back, and before you pull it out, right, because you won't be able to find that hole again, I don't know, maybe you will, but you're gonna stuff that garlic clove deep down inside of there. Alrighty? And you're gonna do that throughout. Don't, don't be afraid of going too deep with the knife. Alright? So, uh, but you, you gotta kind of use that knife as a guide to hold that hole open there long enough that you can get that damn thing in there. Alright? So, <clears throat> oops. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, eh, see, I'm pretty good at finding the hole. Alright, so, you're gonna do that throughout. And, um, this is just an excellent uh, payoff in the end. Oh, you're gonna need a Corona too. Uh, you don't need a Corona. I'm having one today. It is my weekend. I haven't had a beer in a long time. Um, so I'm gonna have a beer today. Uh, it goes against my carnivore diet, but uh, I got the lowest calorie uh, beer that I like, and so be it. If you have to, because there's a bone in here, and you have to do this at an angle to go around that bone, go for it, you know? Um, it, it doesn't have to be straight down. This is not a, uh, a science here. You just want these suckers in there. Well, come on. I get a little slippery there. The cool thing is about this, right? This garlic's gonna be way down the side of there. It's gonna be nice and, uh, uh, basically, it's, it's just gonna melt right into the um, right into the lamb from the inside, all right? You're gonna be like, wowzers. If you can't get the whole thing inside like that one I just did, uh, because I didn't, I kind of screwed up a little bit on, on poking that hole, that's okay. Um, most people would just put some garlic on the top if they put any garlic at all. And I'm coming along pretty good here with uh, lots and lots of these little holes in here. Cool thing about cooking uh, meats, or the, the smart thing about cooking meats is don't wrap these suckers up in tin foil. You know, some people try to cook meat that they don't, they're not really used to cooking meat and, uh, and, and they cook other things, maybe like a turkey or something, which you would need to uh, wrap up in foil. Yes, it is meat too, sorry about that. I don't want any confusion. I don't want to be confusifying people. I'm gonna cut that one a little wider. I should just cut my damn garlic smaller. Oh, come on now. Oh, there it is. Shove that right in there. There's a nice big fat end here, so I wanna get, I wanna get as much of this garlic as I can in here that I cut up. Once I run out of the stuff I've cut up, I'm done. You know, and that's it. There. Abracadabra, folks. Abracadabra, that's all done, right? Always good to have some paper towels handy. <clears throat> now, you don't need a pan with a raised anything on it. You can use a regular foil pan, right? Uh, you don't have to go out and buy anything special. In fact, this was pretty cheap. I went and I got this at a local uh, store, right? So, uh, it's known for its, uh, whoop, long stuff there. Need the olive oil. One thing about lamb, folks, right? One thing about lamb, never put salt, never salt your lamb while you're cooking it. It'll dry it out, all right? You want to salt afterward. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to get this all over my cutting board. I'd rather have it go onto the uh, onto the uh, tray, onto the pan. I'm not worried about anything dripping down in the bottom of the pan either. I don't care. It's irrelevant. So, uh, get your uh, extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. That's what I always try to do. 
and just um, get that on. The cool thing is, right, you're not going to really rub that garlic off of it because the garlic's all infused inside. The only piece of garlic that I moved was the, uh, get that olive oil on the bottom too, all right? You want to get that olive oil, olive oil all over there. Look at how shiny that is. It's like a new car with olive oil on it. Hey, thank you all for joining Woja Mojo um, and you know, the subscribers and those who are watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Throw a comment in um, if you have a different idea. You know, make sure you rinse off all your all your uh, you know veggies, anything you're cooking with. But here's where we go with the rosemary. Unfortunately, I had to buy the rosemary from the store because mine hasn't come up really yet. Uh, and normally I would have fresh, hearty, robust, super sticky uh, rosemary uh, sprigs. Now, you can tie this onto there and stick the whole sprigs down on. That's fine. I'm just going to break up the sprigs, right? <clears throat> I want to get a little more center here. I'm just going to break these sprigs up and uh, these little leaves off of here and just let them, it's gonna stick right to the olive oil, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna, that's, that olive oil serves multiple purposes and <clears throat> it will infuse right through the olive oil. You don't have to put it on before. There's no, that's uh, bunk science if somebody comes up with something like that. I've never heard of it, but you know, people always come up with something, you know? Uh, Oh, you got to do it this way. You got to do it that way. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I've never had anybody uh, not uh, satisfied with the flavor uh, of the lamb that I cook. All right. Um, I cook my leg of lamb. Uh, I, I do cook it uh, medium rare. All righty. So uh, I want that internal temperature about a hundred and. Uh, Lamb cooks in a much uh, lower temperature than, than uh, beef, by the way. So, um, you know, and poultry cooks in a much higher, uh, has to be a much higher temperature um, for it to, uh, to reach its, its part. Every, everything has a different temperature when it cooks, when it cooks at. So I got this uh, rosemary. Let me move this olive oil out of the way. I've got the rosemary all broken up, as you can see here, and on the leg of lamb. All righty. And in one moment, uh, join me outside at the grill. Let's see if that works. All right, welcome outside. Here we are at the grill. Notice how I have the coals, uh, once again, placed off to the sides big hollow in the middle the vent on the bottom the air intake vent is only open about a quarter of an inch all right so if your vent is on the side just open it about a quarter of an inch all right um each of the holes would be like about a quarter of an inch however many holes all right so you don't want any direct heat underneath the uh what we're going to be doing here now i take our beautiful prepped leg of lamb uncovered and I just set that right on there center it over that void all right and then you're gonna have the top vent however your grill is set up if it's square it might be different but that there's fully open and you're just gonna want that uh, only open you know just a less than a quarter of an inch probably an eighth of an inch you're gonna put the lid on the grill. If you're using a Weber or kettle grill, you, you might wanna just kink that, I mean, just ever so slightly, just a CH, all right? If you need to to, uh, to figure out that measurement, you, I think you can go on Google and get a translator uh, for uh, metric to construction to uh, to uh, American, all right? So, uh, so just a CH, I'll show you right here. Very, very little. Enough that you can't even see through it. All right, thank you, and we'll get this rolling. All righty, we're back. 
All right, while that is out cooking, um, if you notice, I was upside down for a second in my kitchen because I poor production quality. Um, all, not only that, poor preparation quality on my fault. Uh, sorry, folks. But anyway, <clears throat> we're going to use the, um, the remaining garlic. I got a little food processor. It's just a little quicker for me to do this so I'm not killing your time. So I'm going to throw uh, the remaining garlic cloves in there. I'm going to uh, throw the cilantro in. Uh, it should have some um, parsley, but uh, I don't. But that's okay. I uh, haven't used parsley when I made it before, and it still came out all right. Um, so we're not using the mint. That was uh, bad on me. All right. A um, little, little, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, what we're going to do is just, we're going to grind this up first real quick. All righty. This is just something to go uh, as a topper. You know, it's a sauce. Uh, it's not quite a chimichurri sauce. Um, I was, I was going to try to make that for you, but it's it still will be good. All right. So, with that done, you set aside there. We'll scoop this out into a bowl. It's just the ground cilantro and, uh, and uh, garlic. But if you had parsley flakes or parsley, fresh parsley even better, which I don't have either one, um, that would enhance this even more. So please forgive me. But you can look up uh, people making chimichurri sauce is really the kind of the best way to, to do this. Uh, but I'm just showing you because I'm here. Well, that's grilling and I got to make something anyway. All right. I got to make some of what I've got. All right. So uh, I'm just going to kind of do the best I can and make sure it tastes nice and enhances the um, the uh, lamb as a as just a little side thingy. Now, as you can see, there's not much in here. I could make a lot more. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to give a little squeeze of, of lemon, uh, lime rather. Not much, not much at all. All right. I am going to throw just a, a smidgen pinch of salt in there. You don't have to do that. I just feel it brings out the flavor a little bit. Alrighty, and we're gonna go with just a, basically a drop of uh, red wine vinegar. You know, whoop. There we go. Put that lid back on. Got my little rubber band on there so I can open that back up. And then um, we're gonna go with a pinch of, and we're not gonna do the uh, uh, jalapeno like I said before, we're gonna do the uh, pepper flake, okay? So make sure your fingers are dry, hands are clean. And uh, maybe maybe two pinches. It's just gonna give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of spice. All right. Cal, I wish I had your little recipe. If you happen to ever come across my silly little videos. But uh, anyway, you're probably laughing. Um, and then the olive oil. What I wanna do is I wanna create um, a, a runny paste. All right, I, I don't want it to uh, stand on its own. 
I want it to be able to almost be able to pour. All right, Ooh, got a big cilantro stem in there. We'll just throw that out. And we'll let that infuse as it sits. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Not much to it. Let's give it a little bit of a taste. That's what I'm looking for. So you saw what I did there. I didn't use an exact measurement of anything. Um, but this could be served with the uh, with the leg of lamb. You know, if, if people want to put a little bit on top, it's just a or, or other meats. You know, it's not just for lamb. It just happens to be a little something extra to throw on. Um, lamb has a flavor that some people really love, like I do. Some people um, like. Some people like. Oh, it's a little gamey feet tasting, or or what have you. Um, but a little. That's where this would come in a little bit handy. Just kind of change it up a hair. All right. So uh, that's just a little something to uh, put on it afterward. All right. I'm not going to probably have any. I'm just going to eat that lamb as it comes out of the uh, off the grill. Now, on the while it's on the grill, I am I have the little side wings that I can fold up on the grill and I can place more coals. So I'll, I'll place like two or three coals while that's growing out there. I'm going to keep an eye on it with my handy dandy little uh, thermometer to make sure that I don't go over uh, 100 and, uh, 125. I want it right at 125 degrees. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll keep an eye on that and I will spin the lid around so the vent goes from one side to the other side. Uh, while I'm doing that, just to make sure that any odd airflow, it hits that lamb evenly while it's out there. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, hoping you're liking this so far. Uh, probably not, but probably not, but whatever. Anyway. Hopefully it helps you. That lamb's going to come out delicious. You will not regret it if you follow that grilling style. All right, folks. <clears throat> Here we are. I just pulled it off the grill. I checked that temperature and we were uh, between randomly on it because it does have a bone in it, et cetera, and it's different thicknesses. But we had between um, one, uh, 126 and uh, on one of the sides, almost at 140. So people can have their choice. Uh, let me, let me uh, cut into this, all right? Let me see what that, uh, how that came out. And I'm going to uh, move this over to the cutting board set. I'm going to show you in the pan, right? Almost nothing is in the pan, just basically the, the olive oil. Um, hardly any drippings at all because of that slow roast factor on the uh, charcoal. It's a great thing. Uh, I like the charcoal, it, uh, you get a nice smoky flavor, uh, and just cooking it slow uh, really, really helps with, the, um, with just keeping all the juices inside. So I'll cut a piece off the side. Oh, look at that. This is off the, um, the, the higher temperature side, but look at that juice inside of there. That's incredible. It's just, see that dripping out? Oh, oh, and it's, and it feels just nothing, you know, 
tougher rubbery about it. It just feels so tender. And this is when, whoop. This is, uh, this is when you would add some salt. You don't have to use the, the salt I use, you know, the iodized salt, I just prefer it. But I'm just gonna do this, get a little bit on there. Okay. Mm. That is, that's pure butter. I mean, it really just melts. So, so tender. Oh my God, I would serve this anywhere. If I ordered this at a fine restaurant, I would be pleased. I would be pleased. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna throw a little bit of chimichurri. Well, not quite chimichurri. Just on the side there. And just see how, how that comes out. That's good. Mm. All right, folks. This is a way to go. You'll rock it. You're not going to have any complaints. You will totally rock it. And, um, and you can cut this up, put it in the fridge, let it cool first. You know, and to get back down there close to room temperature. You never want to steam your meat by putting it in a container and putting it in the fridge. It'll steam while it's in the container and any steaming will take away from that uh, ultimate tenderness right there. Oh, hell, I'm just eating that whole piece right there. Right like that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is, uh, that is delicious. Now, I don't think mom will complain if you serve that up to her or any of your guests. Even if they're not uh, big on lamb, doing it like this gives it just a more, it neutralizes some of that lamby flavor, but without removing the lamby flavor. You know what I mean? It's like, it just makes it uh, all around more palatable because of the smoking of it, all right? So, um, Hey, God bless you all. Uh, treat your mothers well, all right? A lot of moms did a lot of things to take care of you and get you to where you are. Uh, and, and here's a great day um, to appreciate them. And, uh, and, and God bless you all. And God bless all the mothers out there. Uh, and and keep, keep doing a good job, all right? Uh, I love you and have a wonderful day.